After six years on the job, Crystal's favorite canine is retiring. The community held a retirement reception for Rocco Tuesday night at Crystal City Hall. Rocco has been completely funded through donations and community support. The canine has been used for apprehension, tracking, and narcotics detection. It's actually kind of been fun to watch him mature. Um, when we first got him, tons of drive, tons of, tons of energy, and now it's a little more focused energy, focused drive, where you know we, we really tried to, I don't know, hone it in of all that energy and give it a mission. In retirement, Rocco will be adopted by his handler and live out his life as a happy house dog. The hiring process for a new canine began in April and the yet to be named dog is currently in training. Today's standout student has a resume more impressive than some adults. Reporter Meredith Hackler introduces us to Maple Grove High School senior Ian Lim. I believe that um, I have something to learn from every single individual. Ian Lim is well known at Maple Grove Senior High. He's also no stranger to the spotlight. Throughout his high school career, he's been a part of many activities that have earned him recognition among his peers. My main thing is junior achievement. Um, so that's uh, basically we get together a group of students. Um, we start a business throughout the year. Um, so we'll start anything. So two years ago we started a coffee shop um, in our school and then um, this last year we started a data analytics company. And both of those entrepreneurial endeavors gained him and those he worked with national attention. They managed to win the local competition and go to the national competition and Ian also was named the local entrepreneur of the year by um, junior achievement. But it doesn't stop there. Ian has traveled all over the country to speak about his startup which would give patients more control of their health care data. Patients don't have a lot of control over their data right now. It's kind of housed in different hospitals. Uh, if you try to ask for like a copy of your entire medical history, you won't be able to get it very quickly. It takes a lot of time to request it from different hospitals. So what we're trying to do is um, decentralize that to the point where it's not owned by any hospital, rather it's owned by the patient and uh, data can flow much more freely between different hospitals. And Ian's achievements in high school are paving the way for an even brighter future. He was recently accepted into Stanford. Stanford really just fits what I want to do, um, I guess better than any other university out there. Uh, they're definitely more on the practical side of learning, but then also um, with Silicon Valley kind of surrounding the university and really having a, a culture of entrepreneurship and technology, um, I really think I could fit in really well over there and start my business. In Maple Grove, Meredith Hackler, CCX News. And Ian does plan on attending Stanford, where he will either major in computer science, economics, or product design. And we wish him well.